Hi guys, once again, welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In the last video, we already learned about how to create a fully functional navigation layer. In this video, here I am going to demonstrate how to place a button for navigation layer on the upper. So if you want the navigation layer to appear above the upper, you have to use a toolbar instead of action bar. So in the first video in this tutorial series, we replace the action bar with a toolbar. So here inside main activity, we include the toolbar. Inside main activity.java, we create variables for toolbar. We set the supported action bar into toolbar. So now we are going to place a menu icon on the app bar to open the navigation drawer. So first we need to add some drawable resources for the menu icon. So here I am going to add a new vector set. Uh, select navigation. So this is the suitable icon for the navigation layer. I simply change the name into IC menu. So here is the employable resource. So this is a black icon but we have a dark action bar. So we need some white icons. So here I change the icon into white. Okay. Now go to main activity. So here we have a toolbar. So here I create variable for action bar. And get the support action bar. So first thing we have to enable a home button on the up bar. So you can simply call action bar dot set display home as up enabled and you have to pass true in that method. So this will add a home button to the app bar. So we can check that one. So here we have a home button on the app bar. Now we need to change this icon into our menu icon. For that, you can simply call the action bar load, set home as up indicator and specify your resource. Here it is, employable IC menu. So now we can test it. So now here we change the icon into our menu icon. Now when the user click this button, <coughs> we have to open the navigation lawyer. For that, you have to override one more method called on options item selected so from this method we can open the navigation royal so in this method we have one parameter that is an object of menu item so from that method we can get the item id by using this method get item id now check this condition if it is android dot r dot id dot home in that case, we can open the navigation drawer. So you can use the drawer layout and open this and call this method called the open drawer. Here you have to specify the gravity. So here I'm going to use gravity combat dot start. Now return true from this method. So now we can check it. So I run the project again. So now when you shall click the button it will open the navigation drawer. <coughs> so this is how we place a button for navigation drawer on the app bar. I hope you understand the concept. For getting more Android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.